Tango is an ever-evolving dance form. It relies heavily on improvisation. The thing with um, a tango is... Mundwesslisa, we are a lead. He leads with strength. Give us a chew. And he leads with passion. Hey, slow down. Almost sing at He's a hunter.
these, this is comparable to a good report because in Psycho, the character Norman Bates is actually a serial killer. Both Bates and Parker suffer from past images or memories with their mothers and this leads to their psychopathy. South Africa currently has one of the highest Additionally, in terms of context, the current president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, who is serving his second term since 2009, is accused of raping his deceased friend's daughter, who has HIV. The case was later dismissed when it was proved that the act was consensual. This can be related to the film because both Jacob Zuma and Parker Sitole are authoritative figures and you'd think that they would set a better example, they'd be exam exemplary figures for the public and they're engaged in these acts. Additionally, even though Nolita is underage, it is somewhat consensual, she's not having sex with Parker against her will. In fact, she's the one that instigated sex on the first night. So, I think these two stories are similar in that aspect. The film was banned by the South African government because they don't allow any depiction of persons under the age of 18. Such as whether they sexually showing anybody hard or condoning anything like that. So what they were saying is that the film depicted child pornography and it was banned initially. And the ban was lifted because they said that it was a rigid and simplistic interpretation of the law pertaining to child pornography which is why it was initially banned. So the ban was actually lifted and the director of the film said that if, was, if it was not really banned, no, no one probably would have known about the show. So the ban was kind of a good thing and it is being given international recognition and being known worldwide. Now, a little deeper context into the film of the report. Uh, we have to go back to a film report, which was called XXY. XXY was an Argentinian film which was also banned in South Africa. What happened was the South African government had a problem with it because of the contents of the, the film. And basically, the film portrayed a young girl under the age of 18 who uh, was portrayed in sexual acts with many different men. And because of that film, they came up with the child pornography law. And further down the future, a good report that was first affected by this law. And what happened was the same lawyers that defended the Argentinian film, even though they lost, uh, they took up a good reports case pro bono. And they defended them and they won. So that's just to give you a little deeper context. flashbacks that Parker had a military background and you know even in today's world there's a whole debate about how soldiers move after they come home from war and that kind of thing. Do they get psychotherapy? Do they get some sort of assistance to help them reintegrate back into society so that they can be fully functioning citizens? Well I don't think that Parker had that. So as a result he brought home his demons and he had to take care of his sick mother who in turn I think she situation kind of drove him mad, which eventually led to him killing her, which is the first instance of violence. And then it moves to, he tries to run away from his problems and he moves to this 
Tom and becomes his teacher. And here we find him falling in love with Lolita and that kind of thing. And we have the whole instance here of forbidden love taking place here because Parker is a teacher. And although he met Lolita at a little tavern or bar, whatever you want to call it, and he didn't know that that was his student, he found out after, but yet he still continued to make the relationship. And she didn't have a problem with it either until have an abortion and she changed her mind and that kind of thing but which also we can see leading to him killing her murdering her in cold blood and then he also went on to kill the police officer who arrested him and the police officer, police officer who arrested him she beat him as well because she was so frustrated with the fact that she couldn't believe that this man who was supposed to be someone the student she trusted as a teacher would kill this girl so she was so angry and she started to beat him and he eventually escaped and he beat her to death actually and you see him going on to another town another city to be a teacher again and the cycle just continues so the cycle of violence keeps continuing over and over and over again and we really wonder how does it stop and the film does a really good job in portraying that violence because it's really clear to the viewer and I think what they tried to do and it was very effective, so hats off to our very important director for that. Now, in the film, there were two standout symbols for me, the main one being the tango. Now, the way they incorporated the tango in the film, a good report, was really interesting because uh, what they did was they used the tango, or basically the tango is a very sensual and sexual dance. And what they did was they used the tango to portray Nolita and Parker's relationship. Uh, because their relationship was basically um, off of sex, more or less. And at a certain point in the dance, Parker was a mask. He didn't have a mask on, which basically showed that he was really interested in Nolita. He had a genuine Sort of wanted it, and he would 
see on his head and he didn't realize that it was just in his head and which obviously led to external conflict with the character Nolita because he eventually killed Nolita because he thought that was his mother but it really wasn't his mother and Parker, Parker's internal conflict Parker's external conflict at first leads to internal conflict within himself which then leads to external conflict because he takes out his frustration and his anger with his mother and everything that wants him on Nolita and that poor girl dies as a result. So in terms of characterization, Parker's character can be described as round. That means he's a complex figure and unpredictable. Whereas Nalisa's character can be described as flat, meaning that she's just two-dimensional and uncomplicated. Nalita's characterization is portrayed directly throughout the film, while Parker's is portrayed indirectly. So, Nolita. Now, Nolita, I think, was going through a lot of internal conflict because of the fact that she lost her mother. And as a result of that, she was sort of acting out. So when she met Parker, that was her acting out, you know. She was trying to get rid of the frustration she had over losing her mother at such a young age. And so it went from internal to external because it, 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 because it involves someone else. And then she had a little episode with the abortion and I think that kind of did something to her. And you know, she went on to have a younger boyfriend. That kind of thing, and she didn't want to see Parker anymore. So Nolita's character went through. She went through a lot, not as much as Parker, but she did go through a lot. And um, for a young girl to go through all of that, to have an abortion at 16, I mean, you know, that's a bit traumatic. The film was shot in black and white and in technical terms we call it a noir which is a French word and this actually decreases the graphic intensity of the film it helps to desensitize the blood and everything that goes on with all the murders and all that that goes along with the film in terms of technical elements when we take a look at camera angles we have the extreme close-up which uses which is used to display the different facial expressions of all the main characters and we have high angle high angle you can see actually in the opening scene the opening scene begins with Parker's foot grazing against the dirt road and then the camera moves up to reveal the rest of his body and lastly we have tilt shots so that's where the camera gets a glimpse of the side of the person's body and and moves around it's like a moving shot i think this was used to create um suspense and make it more sensual because it was mostly used in the sexual scenes and overall i think all these camera angles were used to enhance the entire film it made it more interesting to look at